Hi friends, welcome back and this is F-Shake Excel Master and I'm your friend Zenzo. I'll be regularly coming here in F-Shake Excel Master giving you tips and tricks on Excel. Well, you must be thinking where is Faraz? By the way, Faraz is preparing nice content for you right now and he will be just coming. And today we are going to learn about VLOOKUP in Excel. What is VLOOKUP in Excel? That will be briefly explained in this video. And let us assume that you have uh, uh, two different sheets. Okay, the one sheet is your master sheet, which is, you can see over here. And there is another sheet, which is sheet two, where you just have your employee numbers. And you would like to pull that information in the sheet two. And we will be also seeing what are the challenges we will face during uh, doing the VLOOKUP. So stay tuned and let me leave the floor for Faraz. Oh, thank you very much, Zenzo, and really appreciated that. And let us begin our Excel video today. So let us jump to our Excel sheet, which is over here. To begin VLOOKUP function, you have to just start equals to VLOOKUP. So once you find this VLOOKUP, just hit the tab key. Let us take a closer look to the syntax. You have the lookup value, table array, column index, and the range lookup. So what is the lookup value? The lookup value is 772. But this is a place where usually people, they make mistake. They go and select the entire table array, which is wrong. The lookup value will be a single value what you are looking. So the lookup value in our case is 772. You can either write the number 772 or you can just select it from the cell as well. Comma, the table array. The table array is the array where we are searching the information from. Now note my friends, the lookup value which is there, it should be always in the first column. It cannot be in the center because VLOOKUP search the information from left to right. It doesn't search the information from right to left or center to right or anywhere. It search only from left to right. So this is a very important criteria with the VLOOKUP. Comma, the column index number is the table array column where your information is stored. So in this table array, the column index number will be two because the names are stored in column number two. Comma, and this time, the lookup range should be exact match. And we will discuss about approximate match in the next video. Close parentheses, enter, and we got Imran Khan over here. So let us pull this information down. That's work great. We got John Smith. But if I'll go and edit my formula, now if you see, the range has moved. It is not as an absolute range. So we have to make sure that when we are selecting the table array, make sure that the range is an absolute reference. So we are going to pull it back to its absolute range. Just select this range and hit F4. A very important point to be noted. And even we have to make our column as an absolute reference by placing the draw sign before the letter. To understand more in detail about absolute and relative reference, you can check out my earlier video. Enter. And we got John Smith over here. So we will just override this formula. And now our range has been absolute reference. Now let us get the other information, which is location and date of joining. But in this place, again, we are just getting Imran Khan. The reason why we are getting this information because of the column index number. Now the column index number has to get changed. Now how to change it dynamically? Even this I have showed it in my previous video. So you can feel free to check out that video and the link is in the below description. Now to update the column index number of the location, which is number seven. And if I press enter, we got the location as well. Now let us change the column index number for the date of joining as well, which is number five. So whenever you are looking up the information for the date, this could be a formatting issue. So there is nothing to worry. You can just simply format it by control shift three. And we are going to select all this information and we are just going to pull it down. 
So this is a common problem when we are handling the VLOOKUP function. If it doesn't find the value, it will give you an error. Let us assume that we are looking a value for 209, which is not available in this list. So VLOOKUP is not able to find that information and it will return the value as any. To handle this, we have to just simply wrap this information with if error. If error, the value, and if this value returns an error, just give it blank or even you can pass a text argument saying the entry not found. But I would just like to keep it as blank. Enter. So now we know that there is no information for employee ID number 209. Let us update the same way for the location and date of joining. So now 209 is no more available. What about 730? 730 is available, which is Ali Khan, but we are not able to extract that information. The reason why if you closely take a look to the data, it is stored as a text value. Whenever you will get the warning message like this in a green color, it is stored as a text value. To handle such kind of a situation, my friends, make sure that your data is stored as a number or entirely stored as a text. Then you can handle this table you can handle it to be storing it as a text. So now if I will put an apostrophe and I'll hit enter, I got that information because it's stored as a text value. But if I will convert all these numbers, which have been stored as a text to numbers, you can see now we have lost that information. It is no more appearing in the list. So to have that information again, we have to remove that apostrophe and hit enter. This is a common problem which happens in the VLOOKUP. And you get such kind of a data when you're extracting the information from the ERP. Your ERP stores the value as a text and when you have it in Excel, it is as a text, but the number, the lookup table is having the numbers as numbers, not as a text. Now let's add another employee number, which is 690. Employee number 690 in our data set has been repeated two times. Now the lookup value, how it looks up the information. It will look up the information saying that lookup, my value, which is 690. It will check in the table array and it will say 690, checking in the vertical lookup and it found the first match. And it will ignore the second match and it will return only the value for the first match. So remember, VLOOKUP returns the value for the first match. So maybe you have n number of times 690 been repeated over here, but it will only consider the first match. So let me show you how it will work with the text value. In case if you are searching a text number or an alphabetical text number, it will even search that string as well. So whatever the argument you are passing in the lookup value, which is the lookup value, it will exactly search for that information on the first occurrence only. And in case if it doesn't found that information, then it will give you an error, which is called any. And we have another data set over here and we have some names which are been listed in this names. We don't have their employee ID numbers, but we just have their names only. I'm quickly going to write the VLOOKUP function and pull that information with the same way. Equals to VLOOKUP. Lookup value is Tina Cook, comma, the table array. Yes, this is the information where I'm looking and make it as an absolute reference, comma, the column index number is two for the ID number, comma, and this should be an exact match. And we'll press enter. Once we have constructed our VLOOKUP formula, I'll just simply copy and paste it. The location has a number seven, and we have date of joining as number five. Control shift three to convert it into proper date format. Let us copy this formula and pull it down. And again, we got an error any. Now this time, if you see that we have Farrar Sheikh is clearly written over here. There is no problem. The data is matching. There is no difference in that one. Ali Khan, even the information for the Ali Khan is correct. We have that information, but it is not getting pulled out. Common problem is that you have trailing spaces. 
you can either remove the trailing spaces or if you don't like to disturb your data, you can just simply wrap this function into a trim function. Trim and close parentheses. So trim function, remove the spaces. We're just going to make it this column as an absolute reference and enter. So we got this information. So if you have any leading or trailing spaces, my friends, in your data, make sure that you remove them with the trim function or you remove it from your lookup value. Now in case of Ali Khan, we don't have any leading or trailing spaces, but the data which is over here, it has a trailing space. To handle this, if you guessed me right, my friends, yes, you are going to use the trim function, trim trim function on the table array this time not on the lookup value. This will be on the table array. And when we press enter, the formula works seamlessly. Now, since the table array is returning the function into a text, now we need to convert this into a value. So entire VLOOKUP function, we are going to wrap it into the value. Enter and we got this information over here. And let's assume that you have a new data come up, which is Ali Ahmed. Now, if we try to find Ali Ahmad and we copy this entire formula again and pull it down, we still get an error. The reason why the VLOOKA function searched the Ali Ahmad, so in this table array only. So if it has to search that information, the range of the table array should be expanded. And to do that, you can just simply go to the corner of the range and you will see this drag option two ways and you can pull it down or you can even go over here and change it to 14. So once I change it to the 14, the range has got updated and I'll press enter. We got this information as well updated. I have to do for the other entries as well. So for such cases, you, the best practice is to convert your data into Excel tables. So whenever you have the new information getting updated, it will automatically get populated in that table and it will pull the information. Let us look one example with the Excel tables. Control T, my table has headers. Yes, it has headers. And table name will say my data. It's always a good habit to give the name of your table. Now let me show you how fast it is to write the VLOOKUP function with Excel tables. So we are looking for Sara Ali Khan and we will say equals to VLOOKUP. The lookup value is Sara Ali and we are going to go and search it in our Excel tables. So I'll just go to the leftmost corner and you can see the arrow pointing towards down and it has selected my entire table, comma, and the index number, index number is two, comma, false. Enter and we got that information as well. So that's the beauty working with Excel table. It makes your formula very simple, easy to understand from where you're pulling that information. So let us add one more information. And this time if I write Huda Ahmed and I will copy the above formula, control D and you have seen that we have got that information. So it's very important. The lookup value should be exactly the same. If there is any problem with the lookup value, you will get an error. And how to handle the error, we have seen with the help of the if error function. So that's all for today, my friends, with the VLOOKUP function. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I try to put up all the best possibilities with this VLOOKUP video. So if you have any queries, please feel free to post me on my Facebook page or you can post me in the below video comment section and I will get back to you. And a soft copy of this file will be available on my Facebook group page so you can feel free to download from there. I hope that you find this video helpful so please push a like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the latest updates. So signing off for today, your friend Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master. See you soon, happy learning, have a great day.